What's up fam, it's your boy trucking on the budget back with another video for you guys, man. I'm here today because I'm going up to the hill, man. I need answers, you know, in reference to what's going on with this industry, you know. Um, I need them to tell me, you know, what we can do to fix this issue in this country, to fix this issue in the uh, supply chain, you know. So, ride with your boy, we're going to see if we can get some answers today. As you can see I made it to the Capitol, making my way up the, the steps, I'm going to talk to some folks because uh, we need some help, you know. We need some help with our, with our moving our freight across the country. And sadly enough, we don't have the representation that we need to make these things happen. So let's see what we can do. And it's a lot of damn steps. Like, I'm not going to be like your boys back in what? Last year, they wanted to jump the fence and did all that crazy shit. I ain't about to do all that. But we're going to see if we can get some answers from these folks. Maybe somebody can tell us something. Maybe they can give us some help point us in the right direction. A few moments later. So I'm sure you guys know that nothing was flying up there at... Uh, the Capitol building, you know, they weren't letting my ass in for nothing, but it was uh, kind of cool to be, well, I've been up there before, I've actually been inside the chambers before, um, a long while ago, but, um, <clears throat> yeah, so, uh, but it's crazy because I was speaking to someone who, dealing with a situation in, in reference to mental health, and it turns out that one of her staff members, um, had been dealing with it for a while, and to the point where it's she had to be um to you know be uh, arrested and at some point while she was in custody or while she was uh locked up she committed suicide so it's 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 just kind of crazy you know like i said when you around dc or probably in a lot of different location <clears throat> you see a lot of homeless people who are suffering from mental health and, it's, and it just lets you know it's a huge problem in this country and something that really needs to be addressed. But sadly, it's like, how do you fix such a huge issue like that? I mean, because <clears throat> you want to be able to help everybody, but, you know, the likelihood of that happening is kind of like slim to none. You know, uh, a lot of these people don't even have the money to get the help they need. Man, what the hell has our former POTUS done now to piss these people off? They out there screaming Trump is a criminal, which he was. But I'm sitting there like, I ain't heard nothing about that dude since he left office. I'm like, you know, did something recently happen? Like, you know, was he convicted of some shit? Was he not convicted? I mean, somebody let me know, you know, what the hell happened recently that involved Trump? Because these people had the news reporters out there. I mean, they were... You know, had their little signs up and everything going hard on that dude, which 
it's crazy i mean I, and in and downtown matter of fact uh so where his hotel was they actually tore down all his damn like it's not even the trump hotel anymore something else i'm gonna i want to say like avalon or amazon something or whatever but yeah so let me know did something recently happen because it seemed like shit they just taking everything that has his name on it uh down or whatever but um anyways i was just thinking about something though i said if uh biden is not elected president for a second term that's gonna make two consecutive presidents i want to say ever that didn't uh get elected for their second term you know consecutively you know so that's that's, that's gonna be kind of crazy you know because what yeah i know uh trump didn't get elected and then biden would be the second i think there was maybe one other president that wasn't elected for his second term but these two would be like back to back you know so that would be kind of crazy but um yeah man somebody let me know what the hell is going on with trump what the hell is really going on because these people they they mad mad you know so holla at your boy What's up, fam? It's your boy trucking on the budget. I'm sitting here trying to figure out what the hell is going on with our supply chain in this country. Like, what is really going on? You know, of course, I've been doing my research and stuff. And I was looking how, like, last year around this time, they say that truckers were making, like, $34 an hour. And now it's down to, like, $25 or so, $24 or so an hour which is absolutely crazy and you mean to tell me they wonder why there are truckers leaving this industry wondering why uh so many of us aren't successful i mean <clears throat> you know the biden administration says that they're you know uh trying to put things into place to to strengthen the, the industry or whatever but sadly enough i don't feel like enough is being done you know because um you got owner operators uh, struggling to, to stay afloat, <clears throat> and then you have those uh, those that are working for a company. Pretty much, they're having to shop around because you know you got the uh, rates per mile, which are very low, and you got also you know their their pay is just um, you know not feasible. So um, it, it's just crazy. Um, Everyone knows what the issues are, but nobody is willing to fix it. And at least if they're, if they're trying to fix it, they're taking their time doing so because, I mean, I don't know, man. We, we've we been dealing with this for, for, for a while now. And, like, I know I've only been in it for, what, a half a year now. But, shit, in this, this short period of time that I've been here, it's just been absolute chaos. Like, I can't believe how much... Uh, crazy shit is going on i mean um i don't know I, I mean i feel like i picked a bad time to come in and i'm pretty sure so many others have felt the same way but it is like really hard to b basically stay afloat in this industry you know so um i don't know i think i feel like so much more has to be done like our government needs to really step up and 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 uh do the right thing on this so i figured out why donald trump is uh back in the news or why they're protesting donald trump because mr trump has made his way back here to dc after 18 months of uh being out of office you can see there's even a lot of police presence because he's here at the uh marriott marquis hotel where he delivered a speech at this uh 
First America Summit. And uh, like I said, police presence is pretty deep because I guess Mr. Uh, Trump is still here and looks like he's going to be coming out sometime soon, which uh, is, is absolutely crazy to me. But it actually may, looks like he may have already left because there were protesters right across from the hotel and holding up signs saying loser and and chanting, you know, Donald Trump, um, uh, he, he, he's a, you know, a loser and some more stuff, basically saying that he's a criminal and all this other stuff. So it's just, it's, it's crazy, you know, just to know that that fool came back here. Then he said during his speech, he said that the United States has become a cesspool since he has left office and he's blaming all of it on the Democratic Party. My man just never stops. He just always has something crazy to say out his mouth. And uh, <laughs> I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. I'm like, dude, like, you're not even president anymore, and or nor are you running, and you still at it with your uh, rhetoric and things. So I'm like, dude, just let it go. Let it go. Nobody has time for that stuff anymore, you know. We got bigger and better things to move on to. We trying to figure out what's going to go on with our current president and everything else that's going on in this country. So, Mr. Trump, just going going back to New York or wherever the hell you came from, sir, and just just give it up. Just give it up. Let it go. So, there you have it. Mr. Trump is in town in D.C., you know, um, causing havoc amongst the citizens. So, um I'm just never amazed, man. I'm just never amazed.